What's up guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be drawing Dante from Devil May Cry 5. Portrait of him, sort of close up on his face with his handle of his sword just sticking up from behind his shoulder. I'm on a landscape page, pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with his eyebrows. He's frowning quite heavily, right? So center point of my page is about here. We'll come up and we'll start with just this kind of curved line just for his eyebrows, right? So it goes up. It goes underneath his hair, right? But we'll just, we'll draw it in. And we can draw over it with hair later on. Let me just do the top. Bring it down. Like so. Just this kind of big frown. Frown on the other side, same sort of thing. Just goes up. Like so. Most of it goes underneath his hair. Like so. Then we can see his eyes in underneath, right? So we got like his tear duct coming down there and then the back of his eye is down like so. Comes around the tear duct, down around his eye. They're quite slender eyes. You know, quite thin, up like so, and you can see the tear duct inside there. Might have eyelashes a little bit, not much, just, just thicken this up a little bit. And then an eyelid line, sort of coming down the top there, on the inside. So his iris and his pupil, so he's like looking directly at us, basically. So we can just see his iris there and the other side of it, just here and then his pupil in the middle. Okay, and you could put some dots and sort of dashes for the eyelashes on the bottom of his eye. And then a few, he's, he's not a young dude. He's got like some bags under his eyes and stuff. So come over and do the other eye. So same thing again. You're about eye width, right? So the distance between tear ducts is an eye, right? So an eye would fit in between here and here. Right, the whole width of his eye fits in there. And then his top eyelid kind of comes down. Kind of, his eyes kind of curve down that way. And then we curve a line around. Back to there. And then his iris. Just inside. Two sort of curved lines there. Forgot the tear duct. Just there. And then his pupil in the middle. Like so. <clears throat> right, and we might have some like eyelid lines. Dots and dashes for his eyelashes on the bottom of his eye. And then his sort of wrinkles sort of underneath. Bags for his eyes and stuff. Right, so then nose. So we got like the bridge of his nose just comes down in this way, maybe something on the other side. We'll just come down and do his nostrils, right? So it curves up, down, back up, around, and the nostrils just on the side here. And if you want, you can add some extra sort of light lines just for the skin on the side of his nose. You don't want to draw too much on the nose because the nose is mostly shadow. So we'll leave it like that, I think. Right, so then his mouth. So he's got a big sort of smile, right? A big confident kind of smile. And your mouth starts just sort of underneath your pupils, right? So like, say here. And then we'll just bring it across, curve it down, 
in the middle, just underneath the nose. Just gonna bring it back up. It's kind of it's relatively flat. It's not too pointy, but it curves up on the edge here because he's sort of smiling on this side. Like, and it's underneath his eye there. Pretty sort of dimple, like so. Nice and his bottom lip. So, from what we can see of his top lip, it's like real skinny, so. And he has a big beard, so you can't really see. Well, it's not a big beard. But it's hard to see much of his top lip. Okay, maybe just a, like a line there and like a shadow underneath his chin or his bottom lip. And then we got like some lines, just some smile lines coming down the side of his face. Right, so his chin. A relatively square chin, like so, and then his jaw. Well, check proportions. So, eyebrow to the bottom of the nose, about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin. So, here to here is about the same as here to here, and then bottom of the nose to the bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. So, here to here, about the same as here to here. Okay, and then you can go for the jaw. Stop about mouth level, just underneath the edge of the eyebrow there. Same thing here, and it starts to curve, then goes up underneath his hair. So then he kind of has a stubble more than a beard, right? So we'll just start adding kind of these stubble lines. And they're normally gray, but we're, we'll do them in black just because we don't have, there's no drawing in black basically. You just gotta layer them up, kind of thing. They go all up his face. Gonna stick off his jawline as well. Small little stubbly beard. Okay, I think that's the best I can do for his beard. Right, so now his hair, his glorious, glorious hair. <laughs> so forehead, right, is about the same size as the nose. So the nose will bring you up to where the sort of center of his forehead is, right? So you have this kind of V 
in some sort of zigzags on the side, right? And this fringe will come out from here. So if you go out, some of it might go like across his eye a little bit there. Right. The other side. starts to come out here as well okay and we'll just give him some more sort of frowns and make some scratches and stuff on his face right so then rest of his hair so we got like just sort of hair spikes for his fringe Lots of texture lines on it. <clears throat> this will go right up towards, back towards the middle of his head, curving around here. It's got like a part in his hair here. The fringe comes down this side as well. All right, like so. This is just all hair, pretty much. So, top of his head will be like up here, and this will come down. So lots of these sorts of long hairlines and stuff coming down. Hair spikes and texture lines and stuff on his hair. And then we have some hair that like goes in behind his neck or just beside his neck. Yeah, like covers his neck a little bit here. Right, so then his collar for his jacket like sticks out here. And the inside of it will be sort of here. Comes down like so, and then we can see like his neck kind of comes down from his jaw, curves off this way. Don't really see much of it in this side, but go that way. And the neck muscle lines in there. Gotta put more hair. Just here and then the collar on this side sticks out as well. Down like so. All these hair texture lines and stuff. More hair going down behind. His collar. Right, so maybe like Adam's apple. And then his like shirt is open inside here. Kind of crosses over this one. And then we got some buttons with some X's just inside. 
the edge line. And then there's like collarbone be here. Okay, so rest of his jacket. So it just, just comes in this way. And on this side, so we've got like some edge lines and like some zipper sort of lines here. Another line there, some edge lines, it's all leather, right? So. Okay, so his shoulder sticks out here. And he's got these big shoulder pads on. Which curve around up underneath there. And then his arm comes down that way. And then we got some more sort of detail kind of things. Lines that come across here, an edge line on the shoulder pad. So, and then we got some lines inside here as well. So like for shoulder width as well, I don't know if you know this, but face width brings it out to his shoulder. So the width of his face brings it out to the shoulder. So the width on this side will bring it out to sort of his shoulder as well. So not his, not his hair now, it's just his face. So about a male shoulder is three heads out, right? So it's the same out here. Got the big shoulder pad, and then his arm comes down that way. Same sort of thing. <laughs> and then the lines on this as well. So, edge line. All right, like that, and edge line on the collar as well. And then some like stitching. Lines there, inside, as well, and I think he's got like two buttons. Right, so, and of course, like, little textures and marks and stuff. You know, because it is sort of leather, so. Something like that, you know. Just trying to fix his pupils. I think one's bigger than the other. Right, so ba, ba, ba. like some stubble on his neck as well, I think. <clears throat> Alright, so we're just gonna put his sword in behind here, right? So it kind of like starts with this kind of curved out sort of area that goes in behind his shoulder. And then it kind of curves in, sticks out. So it curves in, sticks out. And then this gradually goes up and gets a little bit skinnier as it goes up, right? So we got this bump and then up to there and we got like some top lines coming across. And across here as well. Goes up. Bumps out. Like so. And then these knees. There's these little triangles inside. Uh, 
and like leaves like coming out the top or something. There, they kind of like overlap one another. We've got like little texture lines on them. And there is like loads of texture on this sword, but what I'll do is just we'll go sort of like this. Keep it simple. There's like elaborate patterns on it if you wanted to do what you could. But I think I'll leave it like that. <clears throat> So then an option when you're drawing sort of more realistic figures is thickening up the lines around the edge. And I'm just going to add like a chest muscle sort of line there as well. But that is pretty much it. That's how to draw Dante from Devil May Cry 5, I think. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.